Hi Fire Science Tarot Twins here. Welcome back to my channel. I am joined by Black Feather Tarot. Hi Fire Energy. We're going to be having a look at the one who broke your heart. So the ex, the one that things couldn't work out with, the one that you were struggling with. We're going to be having a look at how you're processing what has happened recently in the recent past or in the recent future. And then we'll have a look at your person here as well. Um, now if you are after a private reading with the Tarot Twins, we do have a few slots left. Please feel free to email me with the subject line tarot twins um also just want to say thank you for liking sharing and subscribing it really does mean a lot don't forget to hit the bell notification button to get updates for readings for your sign otherwise we'll kick it off with black feather um, for your energy your current energy so this is for aries sag and leo um, and also just a reminder if you want to see more love content to pop over to black feathers tarot page i have linked it below Yes, guys, do drop by and pay me a visit. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at your energy, see fire signs, and see, you know, ooh, five of cups. I nearly burnt that card. Would <laughs> have the first time. Okay, see how you're feeling emotionally, how you're processing, um, how you're processing it all. Okay, so there's still... Okay, there's still something there that connects the two of you together here, fire signs, okay? Um, I'm seeing that with the five of cups and the six of cups, some of you, let's face it, you may not necessarily be over them, okay? Um, you've been deeply hurt or deeply wounded by this person, by their energy here, I can see that. But I feel like some of you, you're trying not to show that with the Empress energy, okay? You're trying to come across a certain way to make them feel as if, you know, you're not hurting they're not hurting you or they haven't hurt you in the way that they've done so you don't really want to show your emotional um emotionally vulnerable side to them i feel like on the outside you may be like trying to post for those of you active on social media i see you're trying to post pictures or you know you're, you're trying to pretend like everything is normal mm. but on the inside i feel like you're still hurting okay so um some of you i feel like and with the two of swords I don't feel like this is someone you're talking to and I don't feel like you're ready to have any contact with this person just yet because I feel like right now what I'm seeing for you is you're still in the midst of all of these emotions you're still trying to process this emotion five of wounds are deeply um, like a deeply um, wounded kind of energy the five of wands sorry and the nine of wands because I feel like this is someone who has hurt you okay they've hurt you they've betrayed you here they might have betrayed your trust um, they may have not been as loyal as committed as you want them to be okay this isn't some you know you were dealing with someone whom you felt that there was a constant imbalance in the connection you felt as if you were always the one who was putting in the effort initiating the conversations making the plans and you just did not feel like your person here you know was matching those efforts here um so five of cups here i'm seeing a lot of regret okay because of the figure here is fixated on the three of cups here um maybe it can also indicate to us that there was a third party situation so some of you you know i've mentioned that there was a betrayal of trust here okay nine of wands a very suspicious overwhelmed type of energy um this is someone who has hurt you someone who has betrayed you here i don't feel like you're ready to let this person come back into your life or at all for that matter however i mean there's no on and off switch to emotion so you're still hurt you might potentially still love them you might potentially feel like there's an emotional thread that connects the two of you together okay the two of cups be behind him indicate to us that all is not lost so maybe some of you feel like maybe one day something here can be repaired it can be salvageable here um okay and some of you i feel like you're getting quite nostalgic i can see there are days where there are days when you forget about them, okay, um, or there are days when you sort of think about them and it doesn't bring up such raw emotions to the surface. But then there are days where with the Six of Cups, you just miss them, you just drown, you know, in nostalgia, in waves of, nost in waves of nostalgia, and you just want to reach out and connect with them here with the Six of Cups. I mean, I don't see that you're ready for communication just yet, but with the Temperance card, who knows, okay, who knows, maybe you'll get to a point where you'll drop your guard down and you'll be able to want to, you know, you'll be able to want to talk to them here just to even ask how they're doing or maybe even possibly reconcile, you know, the pain or your differences because aces do usher in new beginnings. But I can see that this relationship here needs a lot of healing and I can see that you, 
fire signs, you need to, um, you need to take the time here, okay? Because I can see you're hurting. You need to process all of these emotions and all of this conflicted energy that's going on within you, okay? So this is your energy. Now we're going to shift over to your person's energy, so your romantic energy, and see what's going on with them um, emotionally, internally. See how they've processed, you know, the heartbreak here. Okay, we've got the death card. Magicians reversed. Okay, they've recently had some sort of epiphany about you, fire signs. Okay, the death card, the nine of swords, nine of pentacles. They're not giving away too much either. I think they're sort of mirroring what you're doing, to be honest. I've got the seven, okay, seven of swords. I do want to say with the death card, for some of you, this person has gone back to an ex or they've gone back to their past somehow. Okay, so maybe they've gone back to past habits, past addictions, past people, past love. Um, why? Because there's, there's deceit here. So it's either you've done something to deceive them, you've done something to hurt them with the seven of swords. This is, you know, they, for some reason they feel deceit around them. So it's either they've been on the receiving end or they're currently doing this, all right? They're sort of treading lightly. Um, you know, they're, they're wanting to move on. I feel like they do. Um, but they're somehow an ex or the past is coming back into the picture. Nine of Swords, they're not in a good place, I don't think. Um, but it, it's telling me that they're towards the end of the cycle. So that they're towards the end of your breakup. They've got two nines. Nine's a number of fulfillment, of endings, of wisdom, of understanding something and moving on. The Death card is something new, new transformation. Could be with a Scorpio. We've got Aries here as well um, with the Magician. But the Aries is reversed, okay? Um, this is actually interesting because the Aries, uh, the Magician reversed is... No manipulation happening, but we have manipulation with the Seven of Swords. So it's a very odd sort of energy that um, this person is going through. Um, Knight of Cups shows me emotionally they're wanting a relationship. They're wanting that emotional connection. And since they haven't had it with you, they're going to look um, elsewhere for it. Um, I don't think they're in a position to talk, though. Okay, I don't feel like they want to talk or they want to communicate right now. Um, Six of Wands is they want m movement forward. Uh, and... You know, they, they want to move on from you and they, they're they trying to do this. Um, and I think that's a part of the epiphany. It's like them telling themselves, okay, you know, this fire sign is not talking to me. They're not giving me the time of day. Well, what am I going to do? I'm going to move on. And, um, you know, maybe for some reason they're going to run back to that past. And, you know, if that's what they want to do, that's, that's you know, that's on them. So the reverse card was this. This was the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're trying to, normally when it's upright, it's about holding on to something. It's reversed, so they're trying to let go. They don't want to hold on to something anymore. And look, maybe it's hate. They don't want to hold on to hate. They don't want to hold on to animosity anymore. You've been through that together, so they're sort of over it. Um, but it's almost like they, they could be doing things in secret. Why? Because the Death card is Scorpio. Scorpio is like things that are hidden, things that are underground, things that are keep are kept from us or from ourselves, from other people. So they could be doing things um, that they aren't telling you about. So it's, yeah, it's something that they may be doing. Uh, and um, yeah, it's putting them in this, it's putting them in this. And, and they may be trying to convince themselves it's all okay. Nine of Pentacles is like, uh, complacency and maybe they're trying to convince themselves it's okay they can do this uh, but they do want romance and they do want love and if they're not going to get it from you it's almost like they're going to find it with someone else and I wouldn't be surprised if it's going back to someone from their past but we'll see what happens this may not be for all of you but um, nonetheless fire signs we do appreciate you tuning in if you are after private reading with the tarot twins please feel free to email me with the subject line at tarot twins otherwise thank you for liking sharing and subscribing don't forget to pop over to black feathers page for more love content otherwise we'll catch you very very soon bye for now